In this video, I'm going to be talking about covered buttons or self-covered buttons. I'm going to show you three different methods of how you can cover these types of buttons at home. There's a variety of different types of buttons that you can cover that's available to buy. You can get these metal ones or you can get these plastic ones. There's also companies that you can send your fabric off to and request a specific type of button to be covered. And these are these sort of buttons here. When you're buying these types of buttons to cover, just make sure that you're buying them for the correct purpose. These buttons are available for upholstery as well as for general dressmaking. And the upholstery buttons come with a much longer shank. So you want to make sure that the ones you buy are correct for the purpose that you're using them for. Let's talk first about these plastic buttons. You'll always have two parts, the button itself and the back. And you need to have both parts in order to make this work. Once you cover the button, the back is going to hold the fabric in place. The easiest way to cover this type of button is to use one of these devices. And these can be quite easily purchased online or in any fabric or haberdashery shop. When you're shopping, just look for a self cover button maker or cover button tool and you should be able to find this. Sometimes these devices will come with a handy little chart which tells you how big the piece of fabric needs to be in order to cover the different sizes of buttons. But don't worry if you don't have that because it's quite easy. Just take your button, take a piece of fabric and cut a circle that's about a centimetre or three eighths of an inch bigger all the way round than the button you want to cover. Decide which of these is going to fit your button, it's quite obviously that one, and then place your circle of fabric over that hole and centre the button in the middle and push it into the device. And then what you want to do is to push the fabric in as well all the way round. You might find it helps to use something like a screwdriver or some other tool to position that fabric over the button and just to kind of wrap it round into place. Once you're happy that that's all folded in, take the back section and position it over the top of the fabric and then take the hard plastic part, turn it over and push hard to push the back into place and then simply turn that over, push that out or use one of these to push your button out for you. And there you go. If you don't have the covered button tool, don't worry. I'll show you another method which just uses hand stitching to help cover your button. So cut yourself another piece of fabric, take a needle and thread and tie a knot in the end of your thread. I'm going to be working just a few millimetres away from the edge of the fabric and I'm going to make small stitches all the way round in a circle. And then once you get round to the beginning, take your button and place it in the middle of the fabric and then gather your stitches so that they pull around the outside edge. And this will just bring your fabric over the edge of the button and then just cut your thread Take the button back, push that over the top of the fabric and then press that down, press that tight and there you go. Let's look now at the metal covered buttons. These can be much easier to cover without the cover button tool because they've got these sharp little edges around the inside which grab your fabric. So you can cut yourself a new circle, place that in the middle and then just wrap the fabric around the edge of the button and then push the fabric onto the spikes inside the edge. 
and do that all the way round. And then once you've done that all the way round, take the back of the button, make sure you place it the right way up. So you're placing it so that the flat side is going to be facing up and the slight rim here is going to go inside. Place that on the top and just squeeze it until it snaps into position. And there you go. You might find that you get a bit of a shine through the metal. So try using an extra layer of fabric, something quite thin so that you don't have issues covering the button. But an extra layer will just mean that you avoid being able to see the shininess of the metal. Yeah.